What? Special rice. <laughs> Special rice. Now I'll tell yes. you what, it's amazing this stuff. Oh I love it. I think, what is it, egg and peas? Egg, peas, well it's a bit of everything isn't it? It's a Do beautiful, beautiful rice. Yeah I want the lot, yeah. I've got a keema. I've got one of those. Let's yeah. have a look at the keema. Let's have a look. Vindaloo, this is going to be hot. Oh my god, that looks beautiful. Well nice. Keema yeah. vindaloo. That is what you want. Honestly, if you ever get a curry, get a keema. <laughs> right. Keema's the best. Do you want a spoon with this then, or a fork? No, I want a knife and fork. I'm a not common, Mazzy. I'm not common. Have you got nothing to cut up? So there you go, special fried rice and keema vindaloo for me with mint sauce. I don't like it when they call it mint sauce, but they actually have it on the menu as mint sauce. It's I think not it's mint cucumber, sauce. Cucumber, actually, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, beautiful. Mine's already. <laughs> You've pretty much stolen. You said, "Can I have a spoonful of your?" curry because you're not really allowed curry. I'm not allowed curry because of my bowel um, disease. Yeah, so you've not just got but a spoonful, have you? This is the first time I've had a curry in about seven years. That's gonna kill you, Mazzy. But I love Vindaloo. Yeah, but that is going to kill your inside. Yeah. And on top of that, you've got two poppadoms and some chutney. Mango chutney. Mango chutney. Yeah. But I really want some curry tonight. Right. You just crack on. Enjoy. Yeah. I love you. you. I love you too. Mm. I've just had one spoonful. It's hot. <laughs> it's lovely. Uh -huh. and you know what Mazzy just turned around to me and said? What? Do you want some salt and pepper? Do you want salt and pepper? You can't taste salt and pepper with a vindaloo, Mazzy. What's the point? Well, we don't usually have salt and pepper. Salt lunch. and pepper on a keem on a vindaloo. <laughs> have you ever heard anything as ridiculous in your life? Let Just me try eat it. it. Let me try the vindaloo, yeah? That is going to kill you, Mazzy. I'm Go looking on. for... I haven't had curry Just for about it. Go on. seven years. Get in. Oh, so good, isn't it? Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, what a woman. What a woman. I love it. I love it. Oh, that's more rice than Vindaloo. If you only... There's nothing else on there apart from Vindaloo, Mazzy. Yep, go for it. If you only knew about me and my asbestos mouth. I used to have a vowel, so I know about asbestos fat, uh, mouth. Carol Vorderman, she had a vowel. She had loads of them in a big pile. What's that? Never go mind. <laughs> I can eat this stuff for fun. It's when it gets down there, that's when I struggle. <laughs> In about an hour, you mean? Happy Mother's Day to you. Happy Mother's Day to you. Happy Mother's Day, all mothers. It's the day where men do loads of jobs. Happy Mummy's Day to all you mummies and single dads and everybody that looks after your children and just ha and for your mummies as well, isn't it? Single dads? Yeah, when it's they're looking after their kids. Right, I've got a job to do, Mazzy. I used to get my father a Mother's Day card on Mother's Day. <clears throat> There's always one. <laughs> I've got a job to do. Yep. Uh, do you want to just sit over there, Mazzy, and hold this up so I can show them the problem? No, I mean, hold that up. Oh, right. Um, right, Mazzy has tried to fix this herself. God knows how many times. Hold on, the last time I fixed it was the longest it lasted and it's on pretty sturdy still there, isn't it? Well, Mazzy, you clearly didn't do it properly. <laughs> now, there is a problem. You've tried to do it that many times with that many different products. Mm -hmm. I cannot get all that off. Yeah, I've tried before actually. The only way to do that is to plane it off and I'm not messing about in such detail. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fix it now, Mazzy. Yeah. With... It's one of those awkward things, sorry, can I just say that? It's one of those awkward things where we're always standing on it, aren't we? And... Yeah, you catch it with your foot. Yeah, can't be This is a step, helped. by the way, from down here. Um, so I'm going to fix it with some Gorilla Super Glue. A fantastic product by Gorilla. Uh, get some. Always have some of that in, in your house. Not normal super glue, it has to be Gorilla super glue. So I'm going to super glue this end down. I'm keeping that, that's not too bad at this side. I'm just going to super glue that down and then I'm going to put a screw in each end and one in the middle. 
and that's it. And it's going to it look... It will be fixed. Rubbish. It is not going to look rubbish, trust me. Did you it see is. what I did with the hooks yesterday? Yeah, that was a good job. Right, For and one, I don't feel Gorilla Glue's good enough. It's rubbish, and there's not a lot in that tube. I think you'll be surprised. And then we're just going to have three brass screws, because I know you. You're not going to do it nicely. You're just going to stick them in and job done, if aren't you? It wasn't you? Mother's Day. But it is, so I'll be nice. Be nice. Right, uh, yeah, we just had a bit of a problem. You know, when you have to pierce them. I just pierced it and it went all over the place and it's super glue. And it's it's Gorilla super glue, which is really, really strong. You don't get much in here, do you, Mazzy? I told you. Wow, that ain't going to last. No. And you've just destroyed the table. I didn't destroy the table. I just put a bit of glue on it. Right, that'll do. It's just to hold it down and the screws are going to do the main job. You're putting too much on, that's going to squirt out. It's not, trust me. There, jobs are good and mazzy. All I need to do now is put some screws in there to hold it down. So what we need to do is measure that, which is exactly 52.8, which makes that 26.4 which means it has to go there. Only problem is, Mazzy, mm. I can't mark it because I ain't got a pen. That's one in, Mazzy, exactly central. That's perfect. The only problem is these screws aren't countersinky things. You know, the ones we need? Yeah. They're not the right screws, but it's all right. There, Mazzy. Look at that. Now, come on, does that look bad, really? Be honest. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Admit it, I've done a good job, haven't I? Thank you. That is not going to come off now. Because, I, honestly, I've become really good at jobs. Any kind of job to do with jobs. Um, Any kind of job to do with jobs? Your job's worth. <laughs> Sorted. That's two amazing jobs I've done in two days. I'm feeling really proud of myself. Okay, it's the day after. It's the new day. <laughs> oh, that's bright. <laughs> that is bright, isn't it? I got out of quite a few jobs yesterday. I didn't actually do that much. I'm going to have to close that. I'll have to film in the dark for a minute or two. How are you all today? Hope you're good. Morning after Mother's Day, and you know what that means, don't you? My what? annual shower. I have to have a shower today. Oh, I'm desperate for a shower today. <laughs> Uh, you lost something, didn't you? And I just found it for you. You did. You found it outside. I know. Uh, just sit there so I can film you. Oh, don't show me manky nails. <laughs> I need them to see what... Basically, because you lost quite a lot of weight, you know, your uh, rings started falling off your fingers. Yeah, the particular ring you brought me, this one, if you can see it... It's a bit blurry, but yeah. Um, kept slipping off because you've got skinny fingers now. So you found these online, didn't you? These yeah. little back things you put on it. Don't know how well you can see that. It almost sort of like bigens your ring, small in your ring. Yeah, it just changes the ring size. So we got a pack of them and yeah. we tried them, but you still managed to lose one, didn't you? I got two on this one, so although it looks silly, but I've got my ring back on. But yeah, for some reason, because it's still not quite tight, I lost that this morning, it slipped out without me knowing. But thank you anyway. They're not a great idea, are they? <laughs> they are, you can get better ones, these are just Well, you cheap. can get rings, what actually fit on fingers, apparently. Well, you've got to buy me a new ring then. Anyway, moving on. Now, people are going to hate me this morning. They're going to be shouting at me, aren't they? Yeah. Um, remember a few weeks ago we had a flat battery? Yeah. Uh, we've got another flat battery. Well, it's dying. It's not totally flat. It's flat. <laughs> the, uh, <clears throat> we haven't tried to start the engine. We just know because the alarm isn't working on the van. It's, it's faded down again. It's been about three weeks since I started it. It's my own fault, but I'll be honest, 
I knew I'd have to do this again anyway before we no, set off. No, you wouldn't have done. If you'd just started it once a day for ten minutes, left it run for ten minutes, you wouldn't have to be messing about with that. Yeah, but I don't want to be running it for ten yeah, minutes know, every day. I know, but that's a man job that needs doing. I don't want to upset the neighbours. We've actually got a neighbour's window just near the engine. Yeah. And I don't want to disturb them, especially he's, he's really poorly at the moment. Yeah, he's been very poorly. So I don't want to be running the engine next to their window. Yeah, because it is loud. Isn't it? And I knew we had this to... <laughs> You know, as a backup. Yeah. So I'm just going to put this on charge again, get that back up to uh, full okay. battery. I'm not sure the best way around to do this, but we've plugged it in. I've got the oh, the red and the black connected to the battery. And now I'm going to flick the switch. So there's no power there yet. Don't blow up, don't blow up, don't blow up, don't blow up. Yes. Seems to be working, Mazzy. Okay, it's higher than I thought. I told you. No, that's good. That's fine. We'll yep. just leave that for about, well, at least six hours. Hopefully eight. And then it should be fully charged again and we'll have an alarm for tonight. Yeah. You do look beautiful today, Mazzy, I have oh, to say. Oh, thank you. With your little you. summery dress on. It felt a bit springy and nice. It's lovely and sunny today, isn't it? It's lovely, yeah. Just a bit windy. Um, one thing I want to ask though, why is this battery running low? Does anyone know? I mean, we are plugged in on the mains and we have done since we've been here. Oh, don't go into that, Mazzy. No, I really want to know. That shouldn't go low at all, should it? Yeah, I know, but everyone were commenting last night, last time, saying yeah. when, if you're plugged in at yeah. the mains, um, it will recharge itself, which yeah. it clearly doesn't on our model. But it should do. No, it's, That's all, how... it's all to do with how it's set up. And it's obviously set up differently oh. to a lot of other motorhomes. Yes, it does work for some people, but not for us. <laughs> We're talking about comments in the comments section. Sorry, I think I just spat, but they're going to get on at you now for not right. starting that. For not starting the... Yeah. Well, I hope they do get on at me, Mazzy, because I'll <laughs> yeah. tell you why. Let me turn this around. We are not having an outro anymore. Oh, aren't we? No, nope. we're doing away with this outro because no one takes any notice of it. People don't click like, people don't comment, we don't get any new patrons anyway. So, we're going to just not have an exit anymore and I'm just going to moan at you all the time. Leave a comment, click like, do it, do it today because honestly his comments are going <laughs> And all you have to do is put a little comment after the but video. views and everything's gone like that, you know, no, it's just been one of those years back no, for everybody. Views aren't too bad considering, I'm happy with the views. Yeah. But the views would be higher because YouTube would share the video more if people commented and clicked like. So please yeah, do it. Please, ask nicely. No, I'm I'm ordering Mazzy. I'm ordering them. Is that a threat? Yeah, it's a threat. Do it, or I'm coming round your house to sort you out. Honey. Yeah. Can we talk about the way you've just left this tap and all your tools laying around everywhere? <laughs> Give me an update. I want to know what's going on with it. Okay. Well, big update. They're not my tools, the stepdads. Right, okay. Uh, number two, we cannot get it off. We cannot get that nut off, and it's not just me, it's him as well. It is stuck, it, it's had it. So we can't get into the tap, so we do have to get another tap. Yeah. I thought a micro switch, or whatever they called them, were about £10, £15, and a new tap was £30, £40. But you've looked online, and our tap is actually about £80, £90, isn't yeah. it? So because I'm... you can't just buy an ordinary tap and try and put a micro switch into it. It has to have a tap. It has to be a tap with a micro yeah, micro switch. In I it. did see some with micro switches for like forty pounds, but they're obviously not the same. No, taps. we'd like to get the same, wouldn't we? So, they're German brand. So we have to get that sorted out. I'll uh, probably order one of them today. Yeah. And while we're on, a massive thank you to Jim Carber. Oh, thank you, Jim. Thank you, Jim. We love you to bits. Yeah, love you lots. Hey, what are we going to do now? I can find something. Oh. I've been ordered. Ordered? Yes, ordered. <laughs> I've been ordered to update you on our yearly planner and our plans. So, end of lockdown, fingers crossed, 12th of April. We have a campsite booked every single night for, I think it's 30 or 32 nights uh, sorted. All gold stickers are booked. Booked. Yeah. And then we have Twinwood Festival at the end of August. That's uh, six nights, or no, five nights, I think. And before then, what's that? Two weeks before, we are going to... It's like a special little thing which Rob and Lynn on tour have arranged. 
There's going to be Bob and Jenny there as well. So that's two nights, the 13th and 14th, leaving on the 15th. Um, so we're going to look at trying to do something around that area, which is Congleton, yeah. Cheshire. Uh, try and book some things around there for then. Because after this, we need to head down then to my way before this, don't we? Yes. So this will be our last day in Cheshire, and I'm thinking we could do something roughly about there. Maybe, we? maybe. But we have, uh, well, we could do the Norfolk Motorhome Show, maybe. Yeah, but that's down my way. You'd be going down the country, back up the country for Robin yeah. and then, then back down the country again. We'll see, we'll see. But <laughs> we've definitely got about ten weeks here, which we still have to fill up and decide what yeah. we're doing. And then we really have to look into October, the NEC Motorhome Show, and that's try and get something issue. booked there. Because I'd like to be we... there for every day of that. Well, we did actually look for the campsite. The near the campsite that's near it, didn't we? We looked a few weeks ago, and it, and it was booked, wasn't it? Well, all the campsites around there will be booked. Yeah. But I do believe they have on-site camping. See, I've never at heard the NEC, of that. But not from too many, and you, you're going to have to be one of the first to book it. And I don't think they've released dates, uh, details of that I yet. Haven't they? So anyway, we've got ten yeah. weeks after his trip. We need to start thinking about yeah. what we're doing then. Yeah. <laughs> So today's big news, massive news. Mazzy doesn't think this is relevant to, to us and our channel. I really do. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Garden furniture, things like that. Don't you think it's relevant? I do. People you just in the want motor homes. Go and have your rent. People in motor homes have garden furniture, you know, and chairs and stuff to sit out on on the campsites. Oh, I thought you meant like garden furniture for your house. Well, both. Oh, both. OK, right. <laughs> right, massive problem. It's been in the news. This year, you are not going to get garden furniture. Well, you might. You just You'll have to pay looking. over the top for it. <laughs> no, it, apparently it's going to be a massive, massive problem this year. Garden chairs, garden tables, trampolines. <laughs> People are going to stop buying trampolines this year. That's got to be a good thing. <laughs> oh, there's nothing worse than seeing them trampolines down every street. I hate the things. Seeing a kid's head popping over no, your garden I have every two I've seconds. never seen a kid on one. That's yeah. the problem. All you see is these big rusty round things in the back of everyone's My gardens. My girls love theirs. They're really... Oh, and then when it comes to winter and they go <clears> flying <throat> over your garden to the neighbours and stuff. <laughs> anyway. Right, the problem is... I'll just explain it in layman's terms. Um... The price to get a container of furniture over from China used to be two, three thousand pounds. But now, because of the pandemic and all the problems, it is costing between ten and fifteen thousand pounds to get a shipment over. That's not the price of the goods, that's just the price of shipping it over. So it's not worth doing. They would either have to like triple, quadruple the price of a wooden set, yeah, furniture yeah. set. Uh, which you just can't do because it's not worth three or four times more and no one's going to pay it. Or you just don't have them shipped over and you don't sell them. Mm. So if you ain't got garden furniture, get it now if you can. That's my big advice. And anyone out there who is thinking, you know, I want to go into business, I want to start up a new business. If you're in the UK, start up a garden furniture business. This is the time to do it. This is the year. This is where you're going to take off. Because we were just saying earlier, everything used to be made in England. Yeah. You try find one product in this van what says made in England on <laughs> yeah. it now. Nothing's made in England. Mm -hmm. Back until, I'd say, the 1970s, England made their own stuff and we were proud. Now we make nothing. It's all imported. Yeah. And inferior, a lot of the... It's a big word. Is it? Yeah. Inferior... Well, it's four syllable, syllables. Yeah. It's quite big for you. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you're going to struggle getting your garden chairs and things, so get them now. You heard it here first, <laughs> big warning, might use that as title, Mazzy. We've got some garden ch uh, some chairs now, haven't we? Your mum gave us a couple yes. for this year, this summer, so that's nice. They're not really what we want, but the better... It's better than nothing. Better than nothing. We had nothing, so yeah. So we have got chairs. <laughs> I eventually now want a great barbecue, which is on the horizon very soon. I'd like a bigger chair, uh, sorry, a bigger table, you know, a fold-out one. I quite I like our little one, it's nice. It's too small. It is a bit. It's too small. 
I want some two nice chairs and a gazebo we were talking about. Yes. Is it awning, sorry? An awning. A driver way one is what you were wanting, yeah. isn't it? I'd prefer to get one fitted to the van and then get the whole shabam, but... I think drive away one's the way to go, but we don't yeah. know. We'll look at them at the shows, If anyone has anything like that, like a really good... We don't want, you know, we want good we can't, stuff. We can't afford it yet. We can't afford yeah. it yet. That's something <laughs> summer, late summer, we might yeah. look into. But uh, definitely barbecue and a like bigger a table. And then chairs and then an awning. Drive away. Get your garden furniture, get your chairs while you can. And no trampolines this year. <coughs> it's important, Mazzy. These they need to know about these things. Something else they might find interesting, I certainly do. Yeah. Um looking on our YouTube studio, which uh -huh. tells us all his figures and things. I'll just hide the money part. But look how many subscribers we've got. Can you see that, Mazzy? Oh, we need one more. Yeah, 23,999 subscribers, so... Push the button, guys. Let's see who can be the 400th. For 23rd thousandth. 24,000th. Oh, that's right, yeah. Um, but that's not all I wanted to show you. The main reason I wanted to is to get onto this reach. I was looking at the reach. Now, this down here... Here, look. Top YouTube search terms. So to search us, the number one search term is travel trolls. The number two search term Where is... Where am I looking? At the bottom here. Oh, here? Yeah. Can yeah. you see it? Yeah. Um, number two is travel trolls TV, which is what you'd expect. You know, people type in travel trolls and travel trolls TV. You know what the third one is, Mazzy? Show up. Are you ready for this? Yeah. This is the third most popular way people find our channel. <laughs> bog. It bog comes even before motorhome. motorhome. <laughs> bog. Why bog? I don't, know. <laughs> I don't get it. I even put in bog myself, but ours didn't come up. It didn't. So 1.4% of people find our channel by typing in to the search engine on YouTube bog. I'm just in shock by that. More than m motorhome. <laughs> What's going on? I know we crap, but come on. Bog. So I've just kindly been given this huge bag of fruit and veg from, um, you know, like from veg shop. So I've decided, and we've also got a big fresh chicken, so I've decided I'm going to do a small little Sunday roast today. I did mention that we are going to be doing a review on a new power bank. A new solar generator stroke power bank by a company called Jackery. Now we're going to be putting that video up, well we're going to be making it tomorrow, Tuesday, and putting it up on Wednesday. But in the meantime I'll just give you a sneak preview because it's pretty cool. It's not just the power bank. Here it is. It's a 500 watt one and it is beautiful. We've had it out of the box, I've fully charged it up. Um, I'm not going to go into details now, but yeah, that's one good thing to look forward to on on Wednesday. And this is the solar, 100 watt solar panel to go with it. Jackery. Apparently they're a big company in America and China, I think. I think they're an American company, I'm not sure. But they're only just uh, coming out in the UK on Wednesday, on Amazon, so uh, there's going to be like a code so you can get it cheaper as well, I think it's down to about £412 or something, don't hold me to that, go into more detail on Wednesday, really excited. <laughs> so that's the Jackery solar generator power bank, so we've, after that we'll have three so three of these machines now a 500 watt a 1500 watt and a 2400 too many. watt too many <laughs> now we have said we're going to sell one in the past and mm. we nearly have but we haven't done we've had some good offers for the 1500 um, but we've decided now 
we're gonna get rid of the 2400 out with the, the big the one the best one the, the best actual one. best one yeah it's too big it's mm. too heavy where we do store it, it means i can't sit on the captain's chair yeah so we're going to get rid of it. And it's a pain when you're trying to get between the two little yeah. chairs to get to the front cab. Etc. Too big. But it's a great, great generator. Yes. <laughs> so mm -hmm. what I just want to say to everybody now, because we do get a bit of flack for this. You know, you receive a lot of gifts from people and companies and mm -hmm. you never give anything away. Now, when we do reviews on products, that is our product after the review. On my last channel, I used to charge up to £500 for doing a review on a product. But in this hobby, I've always said, if it's something we will use, mm. I will do the review for free. Yeah. But that product becomes ours. If we want to then sell it for £500, we can do that. That's our payment for doing a review for that company. It's up to us. What it's entirely up to us. So anyone who knocks us for making a living from doing reviews and keeping the products, shame on you. Can I just add to that then, that we have just given away, okay, we were giving it to ourselves we were personally, giving it. a petrol or a diesel generator worth quite a few quid, but that didn't mean nothing to us. We wanted to help those that, uh, you know, yeah, as we were Yeah, they're £800 new. And even on the same day, we gave away free children's... Um, Metal detectors to somebody that you knew as well. Yes, to, what, who which I've done there? reviews Brand on in new. the past on the other channel. Yep. Gave them away. Brand new. Anyway, let's get back to the point. Yeah. The big <laughs> generator. Let's show them it. Yeah, it. can we? <sighs> we are giving this away. And it's our choice. It's ours. We can give it to those who... Yeah. Anyway, this is it. This. this you can this still buy good. these. They still cost £1,700. How much is this? The £300. This is brand new. We've never, never used been that. used. This is hardly used. Hardly used. With and a brand, brand new, new power bank. We're giving that to Rob and Lynn on top. Rob and Lynn. Because yeah. we know they would like one. Yeah. Because um, they're hoping to go off grid at some time, and that's going to help them out massively, mm -hmm. isn't it? So I don't know, even know why we're even putting this on camera. No. I, think, I think it's mainly to let people know we're not just takers; we are givers. And behind closed doors, we, we don't show on it camera. all on camera. Yeah. But we're giving away that's mm. two thousand pounds worth. I could sell that for a thousand pound like that if I wanted to. Yeah. I'm not going to do. I'm no. giving it away because yeah. we're kind. Have you told them you're cooking? I have, I have. We're going to have a lovely... Is it good? A Monday roast dinner. <laughs> a Monday roast dinner. Completely different to a Tuesday roast dinner. Can I just show all the vegetables I managed to use from all that as well? And sausages. So I will film it. I'll continue to show them tomorrow in tomorrow's vlog. Yeah, it'll be in tomorrow's because... Uh, the thing is, with us doing this Jackery power bank, we have to film that tomorrow. So we're going to be spending a lot of time on that. So the actual vlog for tomorrow night, uh, we need to start again now, don't we? Yeah. 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 We like to... Yeah. 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 We know what we'll talk about. This yeah. is long enough. Yeah. So thank you for joining us yet again, people. Thank you. We'll catch us all tomorrow with another vlog, hopefully. But yeah. we'll definitely have something for you. He's cooking. Love you to bits. You're cooking, aren't you? Love y'all. I might be doing some cooking, yes. Try it. Proper cooking. Don't worry, I'll get the fire extinguisher out. 